I'm here at BAFTA to announce the nominations for the Game Award 2010. Now there's 10 games on the list, and I have to say I'm a huge gaming fan myself. And I was lucky enough to be part of the panel to select this shortlist, but don't have a go at me. It wasn't just me there. There were loads of experts from the gaming world, some top journalists there as well. The list for the Game Award 2010. So uh, let's take a look at the nominations this year. We've got Call of Duty Black Ops, there's Dance Central, of course it's the next game, uh, FIFA 11, Halo Reach, Heavy Rain, Limbo, Mass Effect 2, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, Red Dead Redemption, and Super Mario Galaxy 2. They are the 10 nominees, but which one will win? I thought it was a great list. They're all fantastic games. They've all had the right critical and commercial success. They're the big hitters and the ones that are really good to hit home. Uh, probably my favourite out of them would be Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'd have to go with Heavy Rain. I'd probably go for New Speed Hot Pursuit. It's literally eating up days of my time. In the end, it is all about people that are playing the games. So our award, which is the only public vote for award on the night, gives the people the chance to tell the industry what was their favourite game, what was the one that they've been playing for hours, weeks, months, um, and what they still love, you know, three, four months later. Fantastic um, the work um, that BAFTA and Game are doing together um, to highlight the creativity and the excellence and sheer brilliance um, that the video games industry has to offer. For about the last five years they've opened their arms and welcomed us into the Academy and we are the third pillar of the Academy now alongside film and TV. I think an award ceremony like this is very important. An award ceremony, taking games seriously, if we take them seriously everyone else will. While you can have critics and you can have reviewers, it's all about the gamers, the enjoyment that they get out of their titles and I think it's important that the community and the consumer has their say and I think for developers that's important because they can learn from that and they can hear what the public is saying about what they want for future titles and they can use that to build into their future portfolio um, and it's a win-win for everybody. There's a whole selection of games on there for everyone. Just a little bit of a taster, but which one's going to win? The only way to find out is by having your say. So get online, BAFTAGameAward.com is where you need to go. Just click through to that, have your vote, and also make sure you come back to that site if you'd like to watch the whole ceremony itself and find out who wins on March 16th.